name's Dr. Andrew. Welcome to the channel. It's been noted before by somebody. Just one person. A formal complaint that I do videos on this channel and I don't wear a shirt and it's like, okay, I live in Canada. I can go to the beach. I can see anybody without a shirt on. Well, not anybody, but you know what I'm saying? Like, I can go to the beach and pretty much everybody will have their shirt off. So, you know, as chauvinistic and as douchey as people might seem to think it is to not wear a shirt during a video, indoors people need to remember the last two years I've been living inside of two very warm houses and today I think that it would be probably a hundred Fahrenheit where I live I'm not happy about it I do the best I can With what little I have. With what very little resources I've been given. I do what I can. Turned on the channel today to air out a resentment. For those that don't know what a resentment is, it's just basically a grievance or some sort of thing that's bothering somebody, whether it's like, say, this time I'll give the example would, would be, I'm looking at these channel analytics, and it gives channel analytics for a full month, pretty much, 28 days, and I'm not thrilled about it, because usually we'll gain... 2,500 a month. This month it says plus 200. Two hundred subs this month, boys. Every day it's been minus 100, minus 100, minus 100, minus 80, minus 100, whatever. For those that know YouTube, for those that work on YouTube regularly, It's not a sight for sore eyes. Almost to the point I can't even speak. It's that bad. 
but I won't get angry. No. Can't get angry. Getting angry is not going to change anything. And I started giving people more incentive to subscribe. in the promotions and such, but they don't do that. They don't work. The promotions have doubled, you know, three or 400 subs a day. Yet I go to the analytics, it reads minus 100, minus 80, minus 60. And it's like, you know, this just doesn't make sense. Somebody explain to me how this makes sense. We've doubled our promotions. People subscribe naturally to the channel as well. We can't discount that. I'm a logical thinker. But there's no logic as to how these numbers could make any sense to anybody. That's actually one of the attractive features of, of working on YouTube is, is we, we, we get to look at the stats, the cold hard stats, but Me and several other people that do check the stats from time to time notice that they're inconsistent with what's actually being worked on. Okay, so what I mean by that is I do a video. Within an hour, it's, you know, within two or three hours, it's got 300 views. That'll freeze. And at the end of the day, it might get like 350 or 400 after 24 hours. So... I'm not accusing YouTube of manipulating their stats. But I am going to definitely speculate that they're inconsistent and inevitably wrong. They don't match up with what's actually going on. I mean, 400 times 30 is like 12,000. If you were to get 400 people to subscribe to your channel a day, that's 4,000, that's 12,000 subscribers a month. Something just doesn't add up. If you look at it from that perspective, like, I'm not even saying for a second that we get 400 subs a day. I'm not saying that. That we get at least two to three. That is a guarantee. People are clicking the subscribe button. There's no doubt about that. 
people love to subscribe to this channel. I mean, you look at where we came from around July of last year to right now, which is July of this year, 2019. In, in, just, in, just, in just a year, we accrued 19,500 plus subscribers. And don't get me wrong, I'm very grateful for that, but it doesn't matter. When push comes to shove, that number should look like 22,000 right now. And I understand that I did modify the channel quite a bit over the last month. But I've also gotten an inbox from somebody else saying that they lost quite a few, quite a hefty amount of subscribers as well over the last little while. And asked me if that had happened to me too. And I said, absolutely it did. I lost over a thousand subs by the time he mentioned it to me. I thought it was just happening to me because what I thought, it was just people unsubscribing from the channel because they didn't want to watch the channel anymore. But at the same time, it seemed unnatural because every day it's plus, even if it's just plus 20 or plus 30, it's, it's, it's always a plus. No matter what, no matter how bad of a day it is, it was always a plus. And then it just started dropping. Like It's almost like they don't register the sub count anymore. They just don't register the, you know, that. Or I just had a, a moment of clarity where it could be that they were over counting. And that makes so much more sense to me because, like I said before, I'm not one to just go out and make I'm not one to just go around, you know, splashing around. <clears throat> like falsely accusing people of things or whatever. I don't do that. I stay in my own lane. But when it comes to my own personal YouTube channel, I can talk about that. I can talk about that on the channel. I can talk about that till day's end. Because it's my channel. I'm the channel owner. I own this channel. And everything associated with it. Am I bragging? No, that's not why I'm saying that. I'm just saying it because I have a right to talk about my own affairs. And people are gonna get really upset about, well, why are you talking about yourself? Like, you must be real full of yourself. And it's like, no, that's not it at all. Because if I was talking about you, you wouldn't be saying that anymore. You'd be like, why are you talking about me? Why are you talking about that? It's never gonna be good enough. It really isn't. For those people that, we all know those types of people. You can't please them no matter what you do. They're just never happy with anything you do. You could walk up to them with a million dollar check or even, let's go even deeper than that. You could walk up to that person with a blank check signed in their name and say, here, take this to your bank and write whatever number on it you want and it's, it's all yours. They'd probably look at you and tell you to F off. So going back to the no shirt story. I understand. I really do, that that's gonna offend some people. But there's no hidden agenda or 
anything related to not wearing a shirt that has any relevancy to my body whatsoever other than just the fact that I'm not wearing a shirt. That's it. There's no ulterior motives to that. I mean, in fact, I care not so much about my torso to even show it on camera because I don't see the I don't even see the point of showing my face really because it's just like, you know, part of my humility is I just don't I don't consider it important to even do any of this, any of this at all. My intent when I turn on these videos is not ever to offend people or seduce people or create temptation in any way for anybody. But I think as, as Canadian citizens, we have a right to speak our minds freely. That's one thing that we should be able to do worldwide, personally, is to just talk about life. But it's not that way. For many, it's not that way. frustrating. And then leads to the old question, why talk? Why even bother talking when nobody's listening anyways? It's a really good question. Simple answer to that question. You really don't know who's listening. You really don't. Something you say could save someone's life. Still, that's not why I do this. I just feel like for some reason I'm supposed to do this. I'm supposed to... have this channel. Wouldn't be my first choice. Tell you that. would be my first choice, I don't know. Why 
Why do people do YouTube in the first place? It's a really good question. If you're asking me why people have YouTube channels, that answer is very simple. could be for any number of reasons. If you make a video, every time you make a video, it goes to video editing. And it gives you a choice of categories to post the video under. Film and animation. Cars and vehicles, music, pets and animals, sport, travel and events, gaming, people and blogs, comedy, entertainment, news and politics. How to and style, education, science and technology, nonprofits and activism. People want to express themselves. People are artists. People are educators. People are entertainers. I consider myself to be an entertainer personally, although I don't do much entertaining a lot of the time. I do consider myself to be an entertainer. That's why I categorize most of my videos under entertainment. Because I don't consider myself an educator. People aren't willing to learn from me. I don't want to be perceived as somebody that's a teacher, personally. I also don't want to be perceived as a know-it-all, or somebody that is an authority figure in any type of way to anybody, because all of those things are not who I am. And they're not who I aspire to be. If that's how I am perceived, however, so be it. If we look at music over the years, there are certain bands that will portray themselves as no genre. Like, even if they're clearly a rock band or they're clearly a pop band, they'll still not accept being called that. Like, they won't own that. Billy Talent, one of the most famous rock bands in Canada at one point in time, did not accept being called a rock band with some sort of subgenre to it, like alternative rock or something like that, because they didn't feel that that was all they had to offer. And it's like, okay, to each their own. But that just goes to prove society will always think one thing both as individuals and as a whole, as a collective, and certain subgroups in and out of whatever. And then we'll have the actual person or people who will classify themselves as, you know, Billy Talent might classify themselves as a rock band, but we have, you know, other things like pop in our music or 
whatever, like jazz. I'm just, I'm not, I'm, 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 I'm just saying, you know what I mean? I know they're not jazz, but I'm just, I'm just throwing ideas out there. So, that's kind of how I see myself too. Like, I'm just Andrew. I want, you know, I have all these titles and nicknames and this, this and that, but that's intimidating to a lot of people. Even just me talking about things and being all the time on camera, that is intimidating to a lot of people. I'm moaning, you know, uh, many of them won't admit it. Many of them will just like joke around and or avoid it altogether or they'll get really like irritable about it and it's like like hostile I mean and it's like people don't realize like I don't expect people to watch this channel I don't expect people to like me That's a hard pill to swallow, to understand that. The harder you try in this world to better your life and create a better future for yourself and your family, the harder people will resist that. They'll see it as something else. And try to bury your nose so far into the ground. It's almost as if you never even existed. I don't understand people like that. And they'll be the first ones, the first ones at the doorstep, talking bad about you and telling, oh, you, you know, you should get a job and you should do this and you should do that. And it's like the first, the second you do that, they're like, well, that's not good enough. I didn't mean it that way. I meant it this way. And it's like, okay. I'm not interested in having that conversation with you. I'm just not. I have no interest in engaging with you. If you're like that. Yet they're persistent. It's almost like the less you have to prove about yourself, the more they want to prove A, how right they are, See how wrong you are and see how, like, prove themselves to you. And it's like, but that's not what I'm interested in. Why are you doing that? There are so many people in this world, so many people, millions and millions of people that would love to have that type of interaction with you. Yet they insist that I am that way too. And it's like, no. This is what I enjoy. I'll be honest with you. I enjoy a meaningful conversation much sooner than I would an argument or a fight. Because I just don't see the point. Like, for people to be all, oh, I hate this person, I hate that, I hate everything. Those aren't the types of people that I want in my life, and I don't understand why anybody would want those types of people in their life at all. Like, on a regular basis. I'm, I'm, I'm not talking about once in a while, like, listening to a song or watching a movie or something like that. I'm talking about every day, sit down and talk and exchange friendship and things like that. And they're always just gossiping and spreading rumors and dominating the conversation saying you know this person wronged me and this I know I'm the victim poor me blah 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 the list goes on and they'll just it, it's it's all about them every last freaking second of the day gets spent 
fixating on their problems and their issues and their goals in life, which is usually not much. Let's be honest, there's usually no direction in such a lost soul's life. Yet they're so damn important, we may as well call them God. Yeah, let's do that. Let's call them God. And while we're at it, we should bow down and kiss their feet and tell them how amazing they are. Now, I'm not saying we need to degrade them or judge them in any, you know, it's just, I'm just saying we should at least be able to exchange an interaction with another human being without somebody yelling or getting angry or infuriated even, hurting or jealous. Like, people just can't. People in this day and age are not taught how to have relationships. Let's be real about that. Just for a minute. People think that they need to go around lying, cheating, and stealing, manipulating, thieving, thinking all these effed up ideas and theories, fantasizing about life. And yet, that's not at all how it is. Like, that's how it is, but that's not how it's supposed to be. So, needless to say, I mean, me personally, it's just me. I live in a very small town. Slim pickings for... You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm talking about people that... I'm just going to simplify it even more. I learned this from my sponsor. A sponsor is kind of like a, a mentor or, or a, a parent, almost. There's a reason. The doctors hang with the doctors and the cashiers hang with the cashiers. There's also a reason why the doctors do not hang with the cashiers and the cashiers do not hang with the doctors. And I don't need to explain that to anybody. We all understand that. Everybody understands that. Is it right? No. Could it change? No. Societal classes is a real thing. It's a real thing. And I never thought about it until recently when I started having these conversations with somebody that actually knows a thing or two about life and is willing to talk about it, is willing to sit down and take a moment of his time to share his views and experience about life with me. Nobody else was ever willing to do that. And they said, oh yeah, call me. I will help you. I will answer the phone. I will call you back if I don't answer the phone. I can't even begin to tell you how many people failed that so miserably to the point where I was so depressed and so done with life that I decided this is not something I want to do anymore I don't want to call people and I don't want to get to know anybody I don't want to share anything with anybody because nobody cares and that's the cold hard truth very few people in this world really do care They'll say they do. They're really good at the verbal. Really good at the verbal. I'm talking like master verbalists. And then we have the other ones who think they're master verbalists, 
but they're not. They're just very convincing. But the only ones they're convincing are themselves. Everyone else is not fooled. Then we have the people that lead by example. We have the good examples and the bad examples. And everything in between. And let us not label ourselves. Let us not. There's a reason I don't do that. I don't like to get into the labeling unless we're working our way somehow into that area of discussion without some, you know, somehow these labels, if we talk about I'm this and I'm that or I'm not this and I'm not that, it really separates. It, it, often times it creates more of a distance between people than a bond. It really does. For me to say, you know, I'm a doctor and you're a cashier, well, there's so many things wrong with that statement that I'm not, you know, I'm not even going to go there. If somebody said that to me, I would literally just turn around and walk away. Simple as that. I would say in my, I probably wouldn't say it to their face because I just, I don't have the, I don't have the, it's a complete waste of my time to even waste the breath on that person because they are already, their mind is already made up. In my mind, I'd be thinking, you chauvinistic, egotistical ass. Have a nice life. But all too often we see this. Where people will say, oh yeah, you know, I'm this. Look at, you know, I'm this, therefore I am great or therefore I am worthy and it's like or even the other side of it too where it's like I'm not this or I'm not that therefore I'm not great and I'm not worthy this is what I have to say to those people who go around doing that you're right why? because that's what you believe And they usually don't care to get a second opinion on that. They just go around and think, well, that's what I believe, so it must be right. Nobody else could ever change my mind on that. So I won't even bother asking. I won't even bother listening to what anybody else has to say. Because I already have life all figured out. I am the smartest. I am the greatest. I am the most amazing human being. Or vice versa. I know nothing. I have no experience on anything. Anything I have to say has no value. Not pertinent. Whatsoever. Does not apply in any way, shape, or form to what's going on here. I may as well just sit my lips, not say anything, have no views, have no beliefs. Hide it all, because it's not important. Nobody cares. And just go about my life. Miserable, lonely, and decrepit. This is literally how people think. This is how some people think. I don't do that anymore. But I definitely understand where they're coming from. Because I used to be like that. I used to be one of those people who was always on an extreme either way too high on themselves, conceited, or way too low on this, you know, I'm not worthy of these people's attention, I'm not worthy of their love, I'm not worthy of their time, nothing. 
is ever going to change that, so I may as well just curl up in a ball and die. Ladies and gentlemen, I mean, I can just go on and on for hours, and you already know that. You know that. I get going on a subject, and I don't want to stop, but we're coming to the end of the rope here on the camera space, so I'm going to sign off for today. If you're new to the channel or you haven't yet subscribed, hit the subscribe button now. Help out. Please and thanks. Have a nice day, y'all. Oh, yeah, and like the video. Comment on the video. Share the video. That is the most amazing support that anybody, anybody, even people without anything at all, can help out by doing. That only takes about, I don't know, a minute or so. And again, I don't care if you do or not, I'm just mentioning it. Because I mention it for the people that literally forget, or people that don't know. I'm not mentioning it for the people that already aren't going to do it anyway. But I'm just, I'm throwing it out there, because I know when I watch videos sometimes, I will forget. So it's nice to be reminded of these things. Thanks for watching. This is Dr. Andrew, Downtown Doctor, either or. I'm going to try and do a video here. More than once every two weeks, but less than once a day. Things are starting to pick up.